Good afternoon. Lewis Gray here with My Six Sense. My Six Sense is an iPhone application focused on solving information overload through intelligent digital intuition. If you're anything like me, you're subscribed to hundreds of RSS feeds. My preference is to read them all in Google Reader online. But if I'm mobile on the iPhone, there's no way I can read hundreds of feeds with thousands of stories. My Six Sense helps me find the information that's most relevant to me based on my own behavior not what some computer thinks is important. If you take a look at My Sixth Sense, there are two major tabs in this application, the first of which is time. Like every other RSS reader on the planet, you can sort the items that come in from newest to oldest, but they're not sorted in any kind of order in terms of how much you might like the story. If you can see in this example, we have some information about tablets, we have information about the open web with APIs, Twitter, politics, marketing. It's really kind of a humble jumble of content. But when you look at the relevance tab from My Sixth Sense, thanks to my working with My Sixth Sense as an application for a few weeks, I can find information that is most relevant to me and my own preferences. For example, here's an article from Tom Ferensky at Silicon Valley Watcher about the very real open web problem in terms of people not letting access get through from one social network to the other. My Sixth Sense is intelligent enough to know that I'm very interested in this situation. Twitter, Facebook, MySpace, open APIs. I can go through and read this article just like I read any other article on the web. But if I find it super interesting, I can actually take it and stream it to my contacts at any network. Notice how embedded I have email, Facebook, Twitter, friend feed. I can click on Twitter, take a look at the content which is here, make a little adjustment to make it fit within the 140 character list, and send that off to the next network. You can see me just deleting the item right here, change the title, and hit send. And it's off to Twitter just like that. My Sixth Sense knows that this information is relevant to me, and the more that I share and the more that I read, the better it gets. What else did My Sixth Sense figure out about me? They know I'm interested in Twitter and the whole advertising issue. They know I can read TechCrunch and learn more about Twitter blocking the access to Facebook. I can read Search Engine Land with Danny Sullivan about Google Caffeine reaching a new data center. I can go back and read information about the Apple suit with Psystar. If you look at Psystar, they said they're going to sell 12 million Macintosh clones, or 1.45 million here. But in actuality, they sold less than 1,000. That's no good. I know this is interesting detail to me, not because they say so, but because my sixth sense has been watching my activity. As I go through and I read these articles, the more I use my sixth sense, the more I know I only have to read a few dozen articles a day instead of the many hundred I have been. How does this work? First, look at the streams. These are the exact same folders I have in my Google Reader. I've taken a lot of work over the last several years using Google Reader to find all my content going into sports, technology, web, politics, marketing, and interesting people. My sixth sense can be so smart as to even look just at this folder and find out that which is relevant sorting on its basic algorithm that it has in its data center. Once again, I can take a look and see all the content that's here based on my own interests. Blogging, Facebook, Dave Weiner, who's the author of RSS. So many interesting things, including the new version of Haystack and Python developer content. How did this happen? Take a look at my profile. Each member of my sixth sense gets rated on the digital intuition. The further you are along this graph, as you can see from left to right, the closer they are being certain that their selections for you are accurate. I'm somebody who reads a lot of social networks. I look at FriendFeed every day, Facebook, Twitter. My sixth sense cuts through the noise and gives me the best 1 to 5% of content available to me and lets me share, as I showed you earlier, with my networks downstream. Let's go back to my top messages. Twitter, Top Word of 2009 by CNET and Webware. M.G. Siegler's comments about t Twitter essentially replacing something like a Walter Cronkite now that you have this dissemination of news from a central to distribute it. I can see Mark Hopkins' comments on that, and I know this is relevant to me. Not only because I know Mark and I know M.G. and because I follow Twitter, but because my sixth sense correctly assumes my interest in the real-time web, journalism, etc. My sixth sense is more than just a headline reader. Sometimes you might have a headline which is not that interesting. How to find all my stuff, says Dave Weiner. Why did my sixth sense know this was interesting? Because you have a lot of content from within the article that has interesting content to me, be it Twitter, Facebook, blogging, social media. Take a look, SiliconANGLE again. 
Twitter, Facebook, and open APIs. Every single time I log into my Sixth Sense, I'm more impressed with the content that is there. I've been working with them over the last few months as an advisor. So unless you think I have some bias there, I've been working with them to make the product better, and I don't want to utilize products that don't work. My Sixth Sense is surprisingly accurate. It doesn't feed me content that's uninteresting, and the more I use it, the better it gets. If you want to take a look at My Sixth Sense for yourself, head to My Sixth Sense, that's M-Y, the number six, S-E-N-S-E dot -E com, or head to the iTunes App Store, and in the Productivity section, look for My Sixth Sense. This is Lewis Gray of lewisgray.com reporting from My Sixth Sense.